Good evening, everyone. The Thanksgiving holiday will be unlike any other as Monroe County, New York State, and the nation cope with the huge surge in COVID-19. Despite the surge, many are still planning to travel or have already traveled to visit loved ones over the next few days. Kayla Green reached out to health experts and the director of the Rochester International Airport to talk safety. The airport director says 1,400 people will be flying out of Rochester today for the holiday, down from 4,500 from previous years. Now, there are no restrictions for when you fly out, but there are steps you must take when you return. Well, Thanksgiving week is the busiest travel week of the year. Not so much this year due to COVID-19, but still an uptick from the past several months. Airport director Andy Moore says there's a step you'll have to take at the airport when you return from your trip. The State National Guard is here at the airport and they're interacting with passengers, uh, making sure that the travel health forms are filled out when they arrive. If you're planning to fly out of state, you'll have to either quarantine for 14 days when you return or get tested three days before you return to New York, quarantine for three days once you return home and get tested again on the fourth day of your quarantine. If both tests are negative, you can stop quarantining. Tests are in high demand right now, and Rochester Regional Chief Nursing Officer Rebecca Alley says the best thing to do is contact your primary care doctor first or call 922 CARE if you don't have one. As our numbers here in Rochester continue to increase, um, our sites, our urgent care locations, and our drive through testing sites and assessment sites um, volume increases as well. And so we really want to make sure that every patient is getting to the right level of care. So what about getting tested before heading to a Thanksgiving gathering? Executive Medical Director of the Primary Care Institute, Jane Salamone, says it's not recommended. The negative COVID test does not mean that they can go to a Thanksgiving gathering and not continue to practice good social distancing and wear a mask. The safest way to celebrate Thanksgiving this year is in your own home with your immediate family. Moore also says there would typically be 52 departing flights per day during this holiday week, and that's down to 22 to 25 this year. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. It should be noted that travelers who leave New York State for less than 24 hours do not need to take a COVID test before returning, and they don't have to quarantine either, but they still need to fill out the traveler form at the airport and take a COVID test four days after arriving back in New York State.